Good morning, everybody. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. I am a very big winter person. I love me some snow. It's fantastic. So, how's everybody doing? Uh, I know I the comment yesterday was that I got that actually made me smile was uh, don't uh, don't get don't do distracted driving. Uh, we wouldn't want to lose you. I appreciate that. Um, I very rarely look down at the camera uh, when I'm driving. I make sure that if I'm on a stretch of open road, um, I don't... I'm trying to say this the nicest way possible without sounding like a total jerk as far as the... Uh, um, like, not paying attention thing. <laughs> um, if I'm stopped in traffic, is usually... Or if I'm on the street when I'm going nice and slow, is when I'll take a look down. If I'm... Um, on the highway and I'm very leery about New York highways even though I've lived here my entire life um, I get to that point where it's like no 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 I will uh, keep my eyes firmly affixed on the thing on the um, on the road and kind of just glance down every now and then so uh, thank you to everybody who reached out to me about um, not doing, the, not doing the stream the other night. Everything is much better now. Uh, had a little bit of a family emergency that needed to be tended to. Um, don't want to really get into too many specifics, uh, but it is handled and taken care of, and a weight has been lifted off my shoulders, so I am uber, uber, uber relaxed now. So, that being said, I have finalized some of the schedule for the charity live stream. Uh, side note to that, thank you to everyone so far who has already reached out about the potential to donate, um, has also reached out about sharing the flyer that was made, thank you. Um, it would be really cool if we get a nice little donation. I may have to actually order and go pick up all of the Baseball Express games. Um, the reason for that is it. I got a message the other day from Strat that said if you don't order by December, it says order by December 14th to ensure Christmas delivery. Now, I know I have it's a one day delivery period for me um, <clears throat> from Strat, from Strat to my house. No matter what I buy, it's if I don't go and pick it up, it's a day and it'll be to me via UPS. So, um, I may give him a call and say, hey, this is what I'm ordering, because obviously I'm gonna be ordering in bulk. Um, is it possible to have this prior to, like December 23rd, because I really want to get it to Toys for Tots as fast as possible. So, uh, a couple of things for the channel, really quick, and then we'll get back into the live stream. Uh, Let's see, I have applied for monetization of said YouTube videos that I put out to you guys. Uh, what that means is if, if approved, not definite to be approved, if approved, uh, if you do not pay for YouTube, you will probably get ads prior to my stream. Not to the stream, but to any recorded video. Um, you'll get like a 10 second ad then you can skip the ad type of thing so I apologize but you guys have to understand something and this goes out for the people who don't do videos um, there is a lot of production involved in said videos it may not look like much especially with a live stream because it's very bare bones but there's still the game that has to be purchased and there's still the books and the pens and the pencils and the labels and the, the you know, the, everything that comes with a live stream or everything that comes with a channel has to be shown in its best quality and has to be brought to you guys in its best, in its absolute best. And the fact of the matter is, is that everything that I get, with the exception of a couple of things that were, that were sent to me, um... 99.9% .9 of the stuff that you see on my channel, I've paid for. 
couple of the games that were given to me are free on like Delphi forums and stuff. So it's not like I'm getting handouts or anything. But, you know, and ah, damn it, snow trucks, salt trucks. Yes. I'm ruining my car. Um, so for me, everything I do, I'm, I'm paying for. And I'm not saying it as a charity case, but I mean, come on. $50 per season, $75 for a bat set, you know, a $40 for $30 for payoff pitch, or $10 plus the printing fees for payoff pitch, and then you got another $65 for Strat if it's a brand new season with the additionals, and you know, it's a lot. There's a lot to it. $30 for Soccer Blast, which I haven't shown yet, I'm sorry. Um, Dice Nuts was, was $25, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. There's no recoup for that. <clears throat> and, you know, I thought long and hard about going down the route of the, of the, ta- of the Earls for, on Tabletop, on Tabletop Plus, check them out. Um, I thought about going the route of Patreon. And honestly, I'm not going to do it, especially now with Patreon charging the patrons an extra little bit per month. It's not much. I think it's like 35 cents on the dollar or something like that, or 35 cents overall. But it does add up. You know, it adds up. So uh, I decided to poo-poo the idea internally of doing the Patreon. So the next logical step for me was I looked at all the criteria for YouTube, and lo and behold, I have become a verified partner of YouTube, which is awesome. I've signed up for their YouTube monetization. I will be getting, if I get approved, it's not guaranteed yet, uh, I will have the, uh, I will have the uh, ads to play on recorded video. I don't know if ads happen on live streams. I don't know. Um, But there's also some things I want to do with the channel. And I don't know if it's always going to be just about tabletop sports. I always want it to be about card-based games, honestly. But there are a lot of really good card-based games out there that aren't sports-related. I know Jester does a fantastic job of bringing you content like anything war-related. Um, a lot of RTS real-time strategy. A lot of point and click um, on his channel. I'm trying. I'm trying desperately to stay away from the video game page. I really am. Um, I feel like the. I feel like regardless of graphic or printed word, a good engine will spark imagination any day of the week. So, I'm hoping to potentially bring something like the Oregon Trail card game to the channel, um, Warhammer 40k to the channel, uh, things like that. The other part that I was thinking of is games that are card-based but do have a video game equivalent. I have linked my PlayStation account to my YouTube channel, so if I wanted to put out some kind of content for people just to watch, I can. I don't know if I'm going to do it. I also thought about branching off onto a separate channel, dealing just with fantasy sports. Um, For those of you who don't know, uh, my friend Will and I... What's up, Will? Will runs the Facebook page for the channel, so give a big old shout-out to Will because he keeps the Facebook page going because I am not on Facebook. I personally am not a huge uh, Facebook fan, but... um, kick some serious behinds when it comes to that, so thank you, Will. Uh, Will and I used to do a, a pro football podcast, radio show, both, actually, went from a podcast that I was doing to a radio show that we were both doing, um, and it was successful, and there are times that I really do miss the pro aspect of things, but the caveat to that is I miss the fantasy side of it, because it does tie into uh, a lot of the games that we've played. You know, somebody hitting 59 home runs. John Carlos Stanton, future Yankee, um, definitely does 
make the mind think about what his card is going to look like next year. So, yeah, I, I am at that point where it's, like, I think that a fantasy football or fantasy sport, daily fantasy sport, because I'm a big DraftKings guy, uh, could be on the horizon as well. So instead of the Espo Strat Baseball Network, it could be the Espo Sports Network, you know, ESN. Um, probably, I'll probably get crushed for a copyright on that one. Um, so, I'm at, I, like I said, I'm at that point where I love my channel. 275 subs going strong. We went up 15 subs in the last week and a half. So thank you, everybody who's joined. I'm at that point where I know that the channel is good, but I need to, I need to be more focused to give you guys better stuff in general. And it's such a lousy word to use, but I need I need to give you guys better stuff. Uh, whether it's a, a, a gorilla pod, a tripod to show you know the stream better. Whether it's a different position on the camera. Whether it's putting the camera behind me and kind of over my shoulder so you guys get more of a Espo bird's eye view of it. Whether it's getting a GoPro and attaching it to my to my chest while I'm playing so you guys can see the cards better. It's little things like that that I keep thinking about daily that I have a book of stuff written down. Again, there's that word, stuff, the George Carlin bit. you got to get more stuff. Um, you, I have this stu- book of stuff written down that I want to do, but those things cost money. So I'm not saying that I'm going to become the next YouTube millionaire. Uh, what I'm saying is, is that if those little YouTube checks from you great guys and gals watching me decide to start to trickle in if I get approved for it, that just means I'm going to wind up being able to give you guys better content. And that's all this comes down to. I'm doing this for you. And it doesn't cost you guys anything. It costs you guys maybe sometimes 15 seconds of your time to watch an ad because you want to watch Espo's video. My views are up. My minutes are up. Everything's up. Everything is beautiful right now with this channel. And it's all because of you guys. It's not because of me. I'm just the guy rolling the dice. You're the ones that are in the chat rooms every time I stream, asking questions and talking amongst yourselves and growing it from two people watching to 10 people watching to 25 people watching. I'm hoping for the live stream I get more of it, the charity stream. You know, you you're guy, you guys are the ones that have doubled RNGIDP's subscription base. And it's because of you guys that we keep doing what we do. You know, the Earls are fantastic. Strat Delaware is fantastic. Baseball Demos is the man. You know, RNGIDP is so up and coming and so great at what he's doing and how he's bringing it to everybody. Please. I mean, we're in a good place right now. And even Strat has gotten into the YouTube genre. Well, they got into the podcast genre. With They have a podcast that they release, I think, once a week that they talk about sports. Speaking of with Strat, uh, the, the ratings, the Twitter ratings are going to start coming out next Tuesday. Uh, I, I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait to see what some of these guys get. I have a list of names that I've written down of what I think they're going to be. So it'll also be kind of cool to see how close they are to their daily baseball Strat card app equivalent. So. But that was my little mini ramble. Going back to the live stream. So the live stream will open with Payoff Pitch Baseball. It's going to open with the 1933 All-Star Game. From the 1933 All-Star Game, we are going to move to the 1979 World Series Game 7 between the Pirates and the Orioles. Again, Payoff Pitch. Once those two games are done, the Payoff Pitch hour is done. The next three hours, basically, are going to be strat. So, 12 to 1 is going to be payoff pitch. 1 to 4 is going to be strat. That, so far, this is where you guys come in. Hopefully, you've stood long enough to watch this 14-minute video so far. Um, is going to be the 2001 Game 7 between the Arizona Diamondbacks and New York Yankees. The 1934 Game 7 between the Tigers and the Cardinals. Bob, I'm looking at you for the, the Cardinal love so far. Uh, we're going to have the... Oh, what else did I have down there? I had the Steve Bartman game there, but that game could be pushed to the side. 
I have 2002 Game 7 between the Angels and the Giants. I also have Game 7 between the, Car- the Cubs and Indians from 2016. I'm looking to give you guys as much content like that as possible. Also, you're going to get the rookie pitching, the, the first rookie start for Tom Seaver in 1967 with the Mets. And what else did I have written down on that piece of paper? Oh boy, I forgot now. Hold on, it'll come to me. I think I also had the not important. What is important is I have a lot of stuff and the first two hours are, the first hour is going to be payoff pitch, that's two games, and you guys know how fast I rip through strat, so I'm hoping to get three hours worth of strat. I'm looking at like nine games worth of play time that I want to get in, so I haven't given everybody everything, so that's where you guys come in and comment down below um, what you want to see. Do you want to see something from 1963, 1911, 1967, 1977, uh, 1990, 1993, 2001, 2, 3, 6, 7, 14, 15, 16. There's one other game I may play for payoff pitch. I'm curious to see if you guys want this. It would be a bookend game. It would be the last game Thurman Munson ever played and the first game the Yankees played without him. Let me know if you want that. If that's the case, payoff pitch stretches to two hours. Payoff pitch will be from 12 to 2. Strat will be from 2 to basically 4.30. And then I would play one thing at the at the, the 4.30 mark, like one at the bats game. Unless we just did payoff pitch and strat. So let me know. Let me know in the comments what you guys want to see for the live stream. And, again, just keep those comments and questions coming and likes and subscribes and notifications. Turning on notifications for the channel helps me. It gives you guys content immediately. So, definitely hit like or dislike. If you don't like it, you don't like it. That's okay. You're entitled to your opinion. I'm finally coming to terms with dislikes are fine. So, give a like or a dislike. If you're not subscribed, subscribe now. And click the little bell that says uh, notifications. Because that would be super duper and if youtube is watching hi youtube everything's on the up and up so guys espo strat um i'm i may stream later tonight it all depends on how bad this snow gets if i got a shovel then i ain't doing anything so we'll talk again later uh, i have to go get some extras for the potential snow and hopefully find the loaf of bread something. All right, guys. Talk again later.